Hi there, my name is Hannah and I'm a naturalist at the Redfish Visitor Center and Gallery. Today, I'm going to be taking you on a little wildflower walk. Most of the flowers we will find today are blooming in early to mid-July. Some flowers may have already bloomed and died in the valley, but you might be able to find them now at higher elevations. From the lower, drier areas, we move into some flowers found in wetter mountain meadows. Heathers tend to grow in wetter areas like along the banks of a lake or creek. Mountain heather is also called mountain heath and it can be white or pink. It has little bell-shaped flowers that hang down. This is pink mountain heather. And some white mountain heather, also called Merton's mountain heather. Another wildflower that grows in wetter areas is the shooting star. Shooting stars have petals that are swept backward and a pointed tip. There is a lovely bunch of shooting star plants along a creek. If you are lucky, you might even see a meadow full of the shooting stars. Elephant's head is a fun wildflower that grows in wetter areas as well. Its flowers look just like an elephant with two large floppy petals for ears and a curling trunk. Get down on the ground and look up close so you can see all the little elephants. This bright pink flower is called Lewis's monkey flower. It also likes to grow in wetter areas along streams. False hulabore is a large plant that grows in wet meadows up to the tree line. Also called corn lilies, it is poisonous to all animals that eat it. One cool fact about this plant is an extract is being evaluated as an anti-cancer medication. Cossack speedwell can be identified by its purple to blue flowers and its very long stamens and even longer stigma. The stamen is made up of the filament and the anther. The anther is the little yellow thing on top. On a cussock speedwell, it's purple. The stigma is part of the pistil and it's where the pollen grain travels down to reach the ovary. On the cussock speedwell, it will be the long part sticking out that doesn't have a purple fuzzy anther on. The last flower we will look at today is one of my favorites, the columbine. Columbine prefer areas with more moisture. The western columbine is common around the sawtooth. It has yellow and orange, light pink, or red flowers. The flowers are shaped a bit like a bell. The stamens and pistils hang below the bell and it has upper petals that sweep back a bit. The western columbine has distinctive three-part leaves. Thank you for joining me on this wildflower walk today. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for our next video to learn more about wildflowers. If you have seen a wildflower that wasn't in this video and want to learn more about it, stop by the Redfish Visitor Center. One of our naturalists can try and help you identify it, or you can look in one of our many guidebooks. We sell several great wildflower guides.